Hey guys, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today we'll be showing you another tip on how you could fix Google Unresponsive Error on Windows. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, we're going to change our DNS settings by going to our network icon on our taskbar. Right-click on your Wi-Fi or network icon and click on Open Network and Internet Settings. If you don't have the Wi-Fi icon on your taskbar, I have a tutorial on how you could restore that particular icon on Windows. So we're going to scroll down until you see the Change Adapter options. Right-click on your network adapter and click on Properties. Select or open up Internet Protocol version 4, click on Properties. Under the um, Obtain DNS Server, just click the Use Following DNS Server Addresses and type in 1.1.1.1 and 8.8.4.4. This preferred DNS server is a Cloudflare DNS server and the alternate DNS server is a uh, Google DNS server. Just please hit the OK button and close that uh, Windows. And then go to the start button and right click it and click on command prompt as administrator. Type in ip config space for forward slash flush dns. And next type in um, net sh winsock reset. And uh, restart your computer and see if that would fix the issue on your google chrome. Next is we're going to go to our Google Chrome if you still experience the particular issue. Is uh, we're just going to click on this uh, icon right here and uh, look for more tools and go to extensions. Sometimes uh, the extensions that are currently installed on your Chrome causes this particular issue. So what we're going to do is go, we're going to troubleshoot and disable everything first and see if the issue um, goes away. That could uh, basically mean that a particular extension could be causing that issue that causes crashes on your Google Chrome. Once you have already disabled everything, go ahead and restart your Google Chrome and see if that would fix your issue and observe until if your Google Chrome is now stable. And if you still encounter a particular issue, go ahead and click on this icon again. Click on settings. And go to the advanced settings right here. And under the system, you'll be able to see this use hardware acceleration when available. Untoggle that one and relaunch your Google Chrome. Next, if uh, observe that one, if that would fix your issue. Again, if you still encounter this issue, click on the icon right here and click on settings. And under the advanced settings, go ahead again to system. And under the open your computer proxy settings, click that one. Be sure to check the automatically detect settings unless you have a particular manual proxy configuration. Be sure that if you do have a proxy configuration, they are properly configured. Once done, close that one and relaunch your web browser. If all um, solution doesn't still fix the issue, go ahead and open up a file explorer and type in on the address bar, app data, percentage app data and click on the app data it will take you back one directory backwards and click on local folder and scroll down until you see the um, google folder and click on chrome user data and you'll be able to see the default folder right here we're just going to rename this one as um, default that old folder and we're going to relaunch our web browser and it will reset your um, google chrome to fix any purpose possible issues that may be causing the crashes on your Google Chrome. And uh, if anything else fails, you could try again and reinstall Google Chrome from scratch. So go ahead and go to the start menu, click on settings and scroll down to see the apps. Search on the list, Google Chrome and just simply click that button and click the uninstall button and proceed with the installation of Google Chrome. And also check the also delete your browsing data. Hit uninstall and it will proceed to uninstall your Google Chrome. And uh, see if that would fix the issue and try to install Google Chrome and hopefully that would fix your problem. So thanks for watching. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave your comments and feedback down below. And don't forget to also like this video if this video helped you. And uh, if you haven't subscribed on this channel yet, click that subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest tips and tricks on this channel. So till then, see you again on my next video.